Sporty Quadcopter 101 here, and I have another review of the Buying Toys X16W upgrade model. Now, in my last video, I demonstrated, hold on, let me show it to you. I demonstrated this camera that comes with it, this Wi Fi thing, is a, I'm sorry, for be, lack of better words, it's a POS. You know, throw it away, you don't want it. But if you put other cameras on this, you know, the, the camera uh, mount, mounting point for this, is the exact same as the SEMA X8C camera mount, which means you can, as you can see here, along with the plug, you know, the power plug and control plug, which means that you can install the SEMA X8C uh, cameras with this. That includes the SEMA X8G camera, if you want, if you so wish to include the SEMA X8G camera. That makes this, you know, reasonably a good camera quadcopter. I even brought today, and I'll demonstrate that also, the Bugs 3 camera mount. And with, so I can include my GoPro, well actually my SJ cam, and fly that. So that's today the purpose of today's flight, to show you that you can attach better cameras than a stock camera that comes with it. That's not the reason you want to buy this quadcopter. The reason you want to buy this quadcopter is it's a long flyer, it's a relatively good flyer, and it does have altitude hold. And it has a mounting point and control plug that can be control that can control better cameras such as you know X8G camera can also be installed in here, or you can put it in your own GoPro camera. So with that in mind, let's go for today's flight and uh, demonstrate the Typhoon using other cameras than what comes with it. <laughs> okay, for today's flight, I will point the quadcopter off in the direction of Owens Peak. And I believe I need to turn the quadcopter on first. So we are going to plug the quadcopter in. Again, I got an X8C camera with a memory card in there. I tested it at home. You can control it, you know, turning the video on and off via the quadcopter's controller. And it's making that noise, meaning I don't have this bound yet. So we will bind the quadcopter, turning the quadcopter's on off switch on and putting it in the shade so I can see the lights, turning the transmitter on and up and down to bind, rapid signal, and we have bind. Now, I mentioned we can use the controller now. I'm going to turn the video camera on by pressing V, and that should be recording. Automatic takeoff. Boy, that takes to the air fast, don't it? <laughs> and the wind's blowing off in that direction, so we are gonna fly upwind. Higher and upwind. Now remember, if I fly out of range of this thing, uh, it's supposed to do an automatic landing as I demonstrated yesterday. But the range on this is like 300 meters. I don't see how I'm going to fly out of range. A bicyclist going by. And I'm not going to fly out to 300. <laughs> well, I'm only at about 100 right now. But this is with the X8C camera aboard. Flying around. CMX 8C camera. Ooh. Again, if you hold that uh, pitch roll stick down too long, it will go into mo second mode and go off even faster. Let's put it right there, park it there. I want to see actually which way the wind is at that altitude. And at the same time, I'm going to rotate the quadcopter. Yeah, this upgrade model actually is a good camera quadcopter. Now, the original um, X16W that doesn't have altitude hold. That's more or less a sport flyer. You could actually do sport flying with that, and it's also a camera quadcopter. But this one with its altitude hold makes it good for. Actually, let's show what it makes it good for. We're going to come down low. Come down lower, reducing throttle gradually. I'm not going to pull it down all the way because I don't know what it's going to do. <laughs> I haven't tried that yet, and I'm not going to try it from that altitude what it's going to do if it I'm worried about the motor shutting down a lot of some some altitude hold quadcopters if you pull the stick down too hard and hold it down all the way it will shut down the motors I should demonstrate that actually let's bring it in and see I'm curious before I do what I'm going to do next let's bring it over closer hold the stick down 1001 1002 will it shut off no it doesn't seem to Autoland. 
it does auto landing very nicely. Okay, so it doesn't seem to shut down. I shut the camera off there. What did I want to do? Oh yeah, we're going to fly low over the bushes. Low and far over the bushes. We're going to go out far. Camera on. Take off. And this will be the last flight with the camera. I'm going to switch to my GoPro or my SJ cam. Let's go off in that distance there. That's more or less upwind. Oh, there's those ravens again. They are attempting me. I try it with the GoPro because it has a wider angle lens. Going upwind over the bushes. Well, the range of this seems to be pretty far. <laughs> they say about close to 300 meters. I'm about 200 meters right now, not there, which is about as comfortable as I want to fly it. I don't want to go out to 300 meters with this because I don't want to walk out in the desert looking for it <laughs> if I have to. Okay, let's bring it back home. Turn into the right, so I got to turn right to bring it back to me. And those of you who remember your orientation techniques, if you're flying this, you are going to need to know this. Um, that's why I don't recommend it for beginner flyers, brushless quadcopters, especially long distance brushless quadcopters. Turn to the left, turn left. There it comes. It's moving. It's booking. Look at that thing book. Whoa. <laughs> this is a good quadcopter. I like it. I was flying the Bugs 3 yesterday. This one's a good one too. The 16W. Maybe not as acrobatic as, as the Bugs 3, but it's a good quad cover. Let's land it now. I think I got enough of the camera with the CMX 8C camera. Let's turn that off, actually. It's off. And we're going to do an auto land. I like the auto land feature, folks. I recommend you use that a lot. Remember the right button. Because it does a nice gentle landing. Nice gentle landing. Okay. We're going to turn it off now. Press the video camera button again just to make sure I got that. We're going to turn it off and install a different camera. And I'll show you how easy that is. Turning the quadcopter off, turning the transmitter off. Hear it beeping, letting you know that it's got <laughs> uh, the battery still installed. But again, you just push this, it slides, the camera holder slides out, the X8C camera. Let's go get a SJ cam and try it with an SJ cam in my box of quads. See, I was flying a different quadcopter just before this. <laughs> the BL Toys Q323. Okay, putting that one in the box of quads. Putting the camera in. Actually, which way's the front? That way's the front. So sliding it in. Camera mount is in. Turning the camera on. And starting the recorder. Is it recording? I gotta look. Yep, it's blinking red. Okay, putting the quadcopter on the ground. I'm um, turning the quadcopter on. Okay, lights are blinking. Getting the transmitter this time with an SJ cam on board. Binding the quadcopter and going up. <laughs> Let's go up high first. Okay, this time it's lift lifting an SJ cam. Going upwind. Going up to about there. And I'm going to plop it there and do a rotate as the wind blows it back. Slow rotate. Wind is drifting it back toward me in my general direction. Showing the area. Man, those ravens are out of here. This time I would have gone after them because this has a wider field of view. You'd be able to see those ravens easily. Okay, now let's come down close to the ground again. Going fast. Again, if you keep the pitch pointed full forward, it picks up speed. 
it goes to like, into like second gear. I don't know if that's intentional or not. I think it is the way it works. That makes it kind of a fast flyer. Look at that thing go! <laughs> but again, as I demonstrated yesterday, you don't want to, uh, what did I say? Don't want to make extreme maneuvers while flying fast because it gets wonky. Okay, let's show my, here's my uh, tie-dye of today. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I always wear a tie-dye, folks, when I'm out here flying. There's the wind blowing it by me. Now let's get a little bit lower. A little bit lower, right about there. I like that altitude there. And we'll go out over the bushes, upwind. And the wind is picking up a bit too. Let's see how this performs in wind. Yeah, it seems to be doing a good job actually going out in the desert. I don't want to go too fast. That's expert beginners. We're going to stay in beginners, right? We'll go way upwind. Way upwind. Let me make sure the wind is blowing back this way. Okay, I want to go to the right a bit. I want to stay, stay directly upwind. <laughs> Turn to the left. That's about right, and we'll go as far as it'll go. Dang, I'm about 250 meters out, folks. And way out there. We'll plop it there. And let the wind blow it back. Okay, it's getting hard to see. <laughs> I'm not feeling comfortable now. Bringing it back. Going real fast over the bushes. I'm just giving it a little bit of throttle, but like I said, it automatic, automatically kicks into second gear there. Look at this thing come back at me. <laughs> it can pick up speed. This thing can be a fast flyer. Okay, coming back down again. Let's see. I didn't set that altitude, but I guess I did when I when it, you slow down and try to maintain the same altitude. Its barometer is going to interpret uh, the higher altitude as the um, the correct altitude. Okay, no blinking yet. Again, this is a long flyer. Let's go up real high. Upwind and up real high. We'll go up to about 100 meters, you know, less than 400 feet. Even though there's nothing in the air today, this is a Sunday. This is about the only time I can fly out here, folks, actually, Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> I found out from now on. Only Saturdays and Sundays am I allowed to fly out here because you've seen those jets before, right? <laughs> in some of my earlier videos. Yeah, this place is active. Or restricted actually it's a restricted area Mondays through Fridays but Saturdays and Sundays it's open I can fly here and I apologize for those earlier flights I shouldn't have been here <laughs> oh there's no wind right there doing a good job way up there at 100 feet or 400 feet approximately approximately okay coming back down dang Long range fire. Yeah, so if you're looking for a nice stable camera uh, bird, this is for you. You know, the Bugs 3, I, I flew that yesterday too. That's a great uh, platform, but that's manual, all manual flying. Um, if you want something a little more stable with altitude hold, I like this. The X16W upgrade version. I had the original X16 for review about two months back, but they sent me the wrong propellers for it and I never got around to reviewing it. Uh, they were all one shape of propellers. <laughs> so that's why you never saw the original X-16 on my channel. You know, I got the stick all the way down. I'm testing to see if it's going to shut itself down by doing such. It's not. Okay, letting go of the stick. So it didn't shut itself down by holding the stick all the way down. That's good. Do we got lights yet? on this stable ca camera platform. No, they're still solid, folks. Okay, let's go into the gully. Or over the gully, not into the gully. I don't want to lose it. 
We haven't been over here yet. Yeah, there's another low cost. There's a lot of new low cost brushless that have been coming out lately that are actually really good. They're actually very good flyers. And this is one of them. X16W. <laughs> Boy, is it trucking. <laughs> Look at that thing go. Nice, nice stable platform, even at high speeds. Just don't don't wank it with. Uh, I'm sorry for that word. <laughs> don't pull the sticks real hard <laughs> in a, in in a bank because uh, the barometer on it doesn't like that. It starts to get turbulent inside, and and that's when the barometer will start to jiggle it about a bit. So nice and stable. And a long flyer too. That's another advantage to this quadcopter. It can fly a long time out over the desert. Low turns. Good flyer. X16W. And I still don't have a low battery warning yet. I should have a low battery warning soon though, so I better keep it close for the remainder of the flight. And I can lift a GoPro. Yeah, that um, camera mount can fit all, just about all of the GoPro style cameras. Um, this is a, the SJ cam. The SJ cams are a little bit bigger than the GoPro, and it even fits that. So, you know, you can fit GoPros, uh, Zalmis, SJ cams. Okay, there goes my lights. It's time to land, folks. Low bat and automatic landing. Ooh, that one wasn't as steady as the others. But there we go. And um, down or not. Okay, I don't know what that was. I pressed the button again and it shut itself off. So maybe that was a low battery landing and then followed by shutdown landing. That was probably low battery landing. So let's turn that off. That's why I did that. And turn this off. Stop the end of it video. And turn the camera off. And hear that beeping? Again, this warns you that the battery is still plugged in and that you should unplug it before putting this quadcopter away. You know, that prevents battery fire, fires and uh, damaging the battery. So there, that's pretty cool. So again, this is the, let's put the propellers right. This is the Bang Toys X16W upgrade model with altitude hold. Darn nice flyer. I like it. So quadcopter 101, I hope you enjoyed this flight, quadcopter 101. Signing out.